As any experienced hiker knows, you take the lessons learned from the trail behind and apply it to the path ahead. The land acquisition phase of the Appalachian Trail project has been a long hike in itself, and the lessons gathered over those years have become invaluable to where we are today. Uh, so I'm sure, you know, there are some things that we might have done differently. If I had to choose one, I would probably say working with communities along the trail a little earlier in the land acquisition process. And one example that comes to mind is the town of Phillipstown, New York. Um, we had a public hearing there and we purposefully uh, staged it for mid-afternoon on a Wednesday hoping that the turnout would be light, um, but in fact it ended up being one of the largest public hearings we ever had in the program, about 300 people. And the crowd was pretty angry. Um, and by the time it got to me, I was the, the final speaker, uh, I realized what the problem was. Um, not only was the National Park Service trying to acquire land in that township for the trail, but two other federal agencies and two state agencies also were trying to acquire land there. It just looked like a massive land grab. And I was, I think, able to connect with them because by the time I rose to speak, I talked about the importance of the landscape and the open spaces uh, in their community, which they clearly valued. But that was something that we shared in common with them. And indeed it was. And once we passed through that rocky period, um, the land acquisition program there actually went rather smoothly. Now, many of the communities along the trail are welcoming the AT, uh, even communities where the land acquisition program was pretty controversial back in the 80s or even the 90s. When I came to Martinsburg in 1979, I was assigned a position as a realty specialist, one that goes out and meets with property owners and discusses the trail's interest. And being new to that, I didn't know what that meant as far as how to deal with people. So um, I felt that, and actually there was no real um, learning or training for it. We, we sort of learned as we went along, and we each were assigned a section of the trail to work in. Uh, that section had many wonderful people that we dealt with, probably about 90 to 100 landowners. We looked at properties, we would listen to the owners' concerns, and we would try to find some common ground of things that we could address that would make them feel better about the acquisition. When you deal with people, if you are, if you protect their privacy and you don't tell the neighbors anything they tell you, you will find that they will tell you everything. And that's very helpful in negotiations. So we met with people, we drank their coffee, we ate their cookies, we spent a lot of time finding um, what would work. Most of all, we, we did it in our own style. There was no particular style to follow. It just took time, and it did take a lot of work in having people um, trust you and gain your trust. If you can um, listen to people and you can deal with them openly and honestly, that no matter if you come from totally different ends of the spectrum, you can um, sometimes reach a deal and make everybody go away happy.